Hello, this is Tony. I call myself Atlanta Pad because I live in Atlanta in an apartment. I call my pad. This is uh, just a quick skim of my living room area. I covered my couch because I work from here on my living room table. This is my laboratory. And this is Capone, he's my assistant. He helps me with everything around here. Is that right, Capone? Good boy, yes. Yes, you are. All right, um, just wanna show you that I made a Bedini circuit. And this is my circuit. I got all the components for the circuit from Radio Shack, except for this neon bulb I had to find on CascadeSurplus.com. Thank you for them, for letting me buy the neon bulb from them. Um, but all the other components actually, resistors, the diodes, transistor, potentiometer, got from Radio Shack. This is actually a 5K ohm potentiometer. Uh, Introvertebrates plans call for a 1K ohm potentiometer. I had to jerry-rig this one by putting a 1K ohm resistor in between these two leads which effectively put my potentiometer and this 1K ohm resistor in parallel, which thereby made this whole contraption a 1K ohm potentiometer. And this was my original problem, um, why my entire contraption didn't work initially. These are my two batteries down here. I simply purchased them from Walmart. I think I paid $19 a piece for those. They're 12 volt outdoor lawn um, batteries. They basically just like car batteries. And this is my rotor. This is the cool thing I like. It's simply a hard drive I ripped out of a computer. There's no magic underneath this. It's basically all plastic except for the actual hard drive which I glued on the top of a CD to make it look pretty when I shine lights underneath it it will glow very nicely and I bought some neodymium disc magnets um, from kjmagnetics.com these neodymium magnets are fairly strong and I simply just glued them onto the end of this rotor or this hard drive. My coil I made myself I estimate anywhere from 900 to possibly 1200 or more turns. It I used Again, Intervertebrate's suggestion to use 22 gauge wire for the power coil and 26 gauge wire for the trigger coil. And all we did is run them or wind them together. It's magnet wire. It uh, has a coating on it. Uh, ran them or wound them in parallel with each other around this coil. I use about 250 feet of each. Um, it's probably considerably more than a thousand turns, but I wanted to make sure I did a thousand turns. The center of this coil is simply iron filings, which I poured into coin wrappers. And I just used uh, one coin wrapper for quarters. It's a ten dollars worth of quarters if there were quarters in there 
I bought this at uh, my local grocery store for a dollar eighty-eight. My iron filings I got from Scientifics.com. I bought two five hundred grams worth. I didn't exactly know how much I would need to fill up this quarter wrapper. So then I just glued the ends and inserted it into the center of this coil.